Another day of games journalists being the most cringeworthy and hypocritical people on the internet, and that says a lot because it is the internet, but games journalists are truly terrible people, and there's no worse games journalist out there, I should say games journalist, than Kotaku's own Alyssa Mercante. That's right, Frost 2.0. We all know the backstory with Alyssa Mercante if you've been watching this channel. We've got stuff like this. Uh, Kotaku senior editor Alyssa Mercante, I think is how you say it, calls for mass reporting of Mark Kern over April Fool's joke and describes gamers and Elon Musk as misogynist. We also have this right here. Kotaku editor Alyssa Mercante lies about Sweet Baby Inc. backlash during CBC radio appearance claim Steam curator list was made to prevent people from buying and playing these games. How can it be meant to stop people from buying the game? It's just compiling a list of the games and telling people that Sweet Baby Inc. worked on it. If Sweet Baby Inc. was actually something positive, then people would want to play the game. It's absolutely ridiculous. But we have this right here. Uh, Mark Kern says, Kotaku senior editor being Kotaku. Hades 2 versus Stellar Blade. Here's the difference. Hades has been marked as a diverse game and is therefore an ally, while Stellar Blade refuses to bend the knee. This is why they hate it and while loving Hades. No hate. Hades is a great game. They just play ball. And here is a tweet from Alyssa Mercante and says, Mommy, sorry. Well, to be clear, in isolation, there's absolutely nothing wrong with her tweeting this. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't care what she tweets in isolation. It doesn't matter to me. That is not the problem here. The problem is, is this the same person that said this about male gamers when it comes to Stellar Blade? They want their women to be virtually silent, overly sexualized dolls in video games um, that they can jerk off to without having to wash their ass or clip their nails or show even a single attractive quality. And that was in reference to, of course, Stellar Blade. So why is it that no one else can sexualize a video game character, but Alyssa Mercante can. This is the hypocrisy. And as Grums says in this tweet, it's all about being an ally game. And this is why games journalists cannot be trusted at all. You cannot trust them. This is why Kotaku is dying. It's why Polygon is dying. It's why G4 did die. It's why a lot of these platforms are completely dying off and no one trusts them. Because it's not that the platform itself is bad. It's the fact that the platform has hired a bunch of propaganda and people that only have one particular ideology and they have overrun that platform so by default it is because the platform is bad because they have hired all of these left-wing lunatics there's nothing wrong with having different opinions on your platform there's nothing wrong with people having the type of views that Alyssa Mercante has there is a problem when your platform has nothing but those views and that's exactly what all of these gaming sites have and people are sick and tired of it and this is why no one actually trusts any of these games journalist sites at all this is a tweet right right here from Alyssa Mercante um, they keep saying games journalists can't be trusted, but I don't get paid per click or view or via subscriptions like these reactionary rats do. I'm not encouraged in any way, shape, or form to write something just to get traffic. Much to think about. They despise you. They despise you. you. They despise gaming. They despise gaming culture. They despise everything that it stands for. And she is melting down. She can't handle it, which is why she's blocking everybody, present party included. She blocked me a long time ago because she can't handle it. They love to throw those bombs out there. It's, like, it's just like the misogyny meme. I'll drop that meme right here. It's that meme right there. You can throw opinions all day long, and then the second that people return opinions, all of a sudden, it's misogyny. All of a sudden, it's misogyny every single time, and it's the circle of diversity, just like I've posted many, many times. The circle of diversity, it always plays out like this every single time, and once their platform dies, 
dies, because of course it will die eventually, then they're going to start invading other platforms or trying to invade other platforms and trying to change those because they've already killed off the platform that they were on, uh, on which was Kotaku or um, all these other crazy sites that are just irrelevant as hell for the most part. IGN seems to be the only one that's trying to stay above a lot of this. And while I personally do not like IGN anymore, I don't see as many problems from IGN right now than I do all of these other gaming sites. So credit where credit's due from that perspective, although I do not trust them in the long run. I can only call a spade a spade, and I don't see a lot of that from IGN at this present time. But one place you can go is geeksandgamers.com, our website. You can check out all of our reviews over there and jump in our forums and have any discussions that you want. You can also go over to Meta PCs and use the promo code 199 or you can go over to 221B Tactical and use the promo code 199. You get a discount on both sites, 221B Tactical and Meta PCs. You get discounts on both sites. We appreciate your support. Other than that, we're going to continue to call to follow all of this games journalist nonsense. It is laughable to say the least. And Alyssa Mercante is terribly, terribly pathetic in every way and she is frost 2.0 and we all know how that turned out and it didn't take long for g4 to go away and i don't think kotaku is going to be very far behind you guys have a great day thank you very much for checking out this video and we will talk to you later